wake up night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. Kills King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both died, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back. To end this nightmare, Sir Mordred. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. yet. Serves him right anyway. I've set this dread night on a dark path, and for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis, and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible, after all. Almost killed the- Wait! Who the hell are you? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. this time open the door whoever you are help me and I will help you well 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 
well. Sir Kay, King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward, an honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred, the scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred, do you remember killing me? Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. I've already told you. Avalon, the island of the fallen knights. And this is Castle Camelot. Yes, not the one that you remember, though. Some of us are still waging a war. I fought and have been betrayed. You are familiar with betrayal, aren't you? And what is yours? Your bloodlust? Your savagery? Yes, I thought so. You think you're strong enough to fight the taint on this island. I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Great. That's my armor over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this! What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! This is the Warden's room. Prepare for battle. Sir Kay, you are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. I am here to serve. For to serve.
something to line our pockets. More things to plunder. Careful. It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. No way out without a fight. Ready to fight. That would be Sir Tewelin. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. <laughs> so, you are back as well, traitor. You probably don't remember me. I am just a walking corpse, cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. He is... He was Sir Tuellen, A once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. I fell in battle like we all did. But instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon, I've returned as a lost one. Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place, reserved for the once and future king. That is the law. But I spit on the laws of the Lady of the Lake. I'm not afraid of her. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse. And blessing. My sons are both full of life and hatred for each other. Whatever is awaiting for me here, I must face it alone. Alin and Balan are seeking their own fates now, just as I do. Destined to survive anything, he is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. 
And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of Midnight. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. I am here to serve. Ready to fight. None can stand in my way. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? The nearby Kingstone is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone? What a regal name for a mud hole. Anyway, the village belongs to the throne, and I must teach these brigands a harsh lesson about boundaries. Also, I will need plenty of masons, woodcutters, and laborers to restore Camelot to its former glory.